this video, let's talk about shuttles. Shuttles comes in so many different variations and most of the time we are going to use use shuttles when we practice. And how do we determine if a shuttle is good or we're going to throw it out? Of course, many times we're just going to throw shuttles out if they are very bad condition. And when a shuttle is in bad condition, we can begin to look at how is the feathers, uh, how is the remaining feathers sitting, and how are they uh, are they destroyed or what is happening? For example, a shuttle like this will sometimes that will be all right to play with. It might be a bit faster because it's kind of small. If we take one of these that is basically new, this diam the diameter on this one is wider than on that. So, of course, this is a almost perfect shuttle, and this one has some um, problems. <laughs> so, I will say this can still go on for a few more times, but for matches or uh, exercise where you're going to practice uh, with an ongoing shuttle, I will not recommend using it. In the other hand, we find shuttle like this. Sometimes it's like people have destroyed them just by grabbing their fingers and then turn the feathers, it will do like this. But why are people doing this? That's it's a very fast answer. That's because it's some people think it's funny and they don't understand that it costs a lot, these kind of shuttles. This is actually a missile, but you can't see it. It's so fast and it gets it's very painful to get hit with these. But it travels so fast that you can easily hit three courts with this. If I, I can try to shoot it this way, and I take this a normal shuttle, I give it all I can this way, I can get it roughly one and a half court. And then I take this missile, I just talk a lot, and let's see how fast I can go. That was almost three courts. So you can imagine if someone shoot that shuttle after you, standing close to you, it will get it will be very painful. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the quality of what we are practicing with. So if we're looking at a bunch like these shells, we'll have to sort them, you have to be critic, critical about what kind of shells are you practicing with. I have, do we have too many shuttles like this? You can imagine it, trying to hit shuttles from the rear core, trying to do lifts, trying to do clears with a shell that's where the feathers is kind of bent outwards. That will make it slower. So if the shuttle will do like this, you can possibly practice some net. But this is what I will call a bad shuttle, and it will have to go to the garbage. That would be nice if you just hit. But that will have to go to the garbage or the bin or whatever we're calling it. That has to go away and out of the shuttles that we're using. Yeah. Because there is different type of exercise when we practice. So it's all right to have different types of shuttles to have in your training. You don't need new shuttles like we have over here where every single feather is perfect. You just need to be aware of what are you going to practice. And if you pick the wrong shuttle for what you're going to practice, you'll get a very low quality and you don't, you're not interested in, in training with low quality. So if the shuttles are destroyed, you can possibly still use it on the net but if they are totally bent like that one, I just fire it away, throw it out. It will only do some pain to whoever is going to be hit with it. And then some of the shuttles that, of course, they can, like this one is just, that's another type of shuttles where each feather kind of has been hit a lot and some feathers are remaining. This one will be difficult to play with because it don't have... Sometimes you kind of look at the symmetry on the shuttles, like this one will have a more fluent flight because it, it, it don't have a feather here and then in the same spot on the, same side, on the other side. So this is kind of symmetric, so that will go, still go straight in the air. But if a shuttle begins to look like this, that's not even round anymore, and then there's a feather missing on this side, it will begin to go to one of the sides or it will stop spinning and it will be very hard to use.
You just need to be aware of what you are training with and pick the right shovels for whatever reason and what you're going to train. I would always recommend go with new shovels if you're going to play a match or very demanding exercise where lift is important and your shot quality and feeling from the rear court is also in, uh, in focus. If you're going to use a lot of smashes or just do a lot of flat drives and all of that, new shuttles is, is still a good choice, but most people can afford it. And that's totally fine just doing with other shuttles as well, because the shuttle is not going to spin and you're not going to around shuttle slicing on all of that. So just keep using some used shuttles in fast-paced game situations.